So we're here at the IBM booth here at the Supercomputing Conference, and who are you? Uh, my name is Ettore Tiotto, and I work for the IBM Excel compiler team. So the compiler team is a, a team that develops like compiler technology, which is used for the Coral machine. Um, and uh, people at Summit and uh, Sierra will use our compiler to create good application, to take their application and port it to OpenMP. So uh, we're here. Is this a supercomputer? What is this? Is this how it looks? So, um, this is yeah. an example of the installation of the Summit system that, that uh, it's currently being delivered to um, to Coral. And so that's uh, a mock-up of how the machine actually looks like. Each cabinet contains several um, uh, racks with Power9 and uh, NVIDIA GPUs. Right. I'm gonna head back to my uh, so it's well. NVIDIA GPU right. kind of solution? solution is not just the NVIDIA GPU, it's a mixed solution between uh, you know, the IBM chips, the Power9 chips, and then the best of breed of uh, GPU computation, which is the NVIDIA Volta GPUs. And together they create a system that is very balanced and adapt very well to different high-performance computing workloads. So how many uh, supercomputers in the top 500 use power? Uh, so uh, I, I don't know the number completely. So there are some? For sure. Power has a history of being in the supercomputer for a long time. Well, IBM has been uh, uh, one of the companies that has been uh, committed to high-performance computing for a very, very long time. Uh, back to you know the uh, power system, and now with the transition to hybrid system, IBM is again trying to deliver the best of breed between both CPU and GPU computations. So uh, let's let's work around the booth. Check some stuff that you have. Um, so, the, the video over there is going to show an installation of, uh, of the system for, uh, for the core. And over here we have an example of uh, our compiler, which is being used to take some of the Coral scientific computing application and port it to OpenMP 4.5. So, we are working in collaboration with IBM Research and our customers. The LLNL and uh, Oak Ridge National Lab to take this application and port them to the machine in preparation for the delivery of the system. So what are you showing here? So here we are showing that um, you will basically uh, what this is about is a, a demonstration of several applications. This is a coral. Uh, micro mini application developed by LLNL and uh, collaboration with uh, Lawrence Livermore. We have taken this application, ported it to OpenMP uh, 4.5, and started to measure the performance difference between running the application just on the power system. That's an OpenMP application on running on uh, on power, and then moving it uh, to the GPUs. And we have done a study to figure out how to. Uh, develop the compiler, the application itself, to get better performance on the GPU. So here already we have a 10 times speed up between running it just on the two power eight processors or on an NVIDIA Pascal GPU. And furthermore, uh, it's very easy to use OpenMP. All the, the developer have to do is to identify the loops that have parallelism and add a little bit of uh, syntax. This uh, is OpenMP directives to tell to the compiler and the system, look, or flow this computation to the GPU. And it's quite easy to do. Um, if you do that, uh, we integrate very well with the NVIDIA tool. That's an image from uh, the NVIDIA Visual Profiler. Uh, these are the uh, the application, the OpenMP application compiled with our Excel compilers, integrates with the NVIDIA tools. And you can use the tool to try to figure out where the bottlenecks are in your application. For example, here you can see that a lot of these little kernels are offloaded to the GPU, but then sometimes what the card is... Uh, oh, it's cut with the There is some time where the card is not actually doing anything over here. So uh, we have done... Uh, we have implemented enough of the OpenMP directly to allow you to dispatch the application of asynchronous by adding this no wait and you can yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's very easy. That means that the host thread will not stop at this point uh, to offload the kernel, and the programmer is able to enforce dependencies. When you do that, 
your kernels are perfectly pipeline on, on your car, so they are all running back to back without any time in between. And uh, the performance difference is from uh, the red line to the yellow greenish line. It's about 24% better than if you didn't do anything to offload the application asynchronous. So is that what you work on? You work on yeah, this kind I of am stuff? A, I am a uh, developer. Uh, I'm the lead developer for OpenMT uh, in the IBM Excel compiler for both C++ and Fortran. And what else is uh, around here? Can we look at that? So over here, let's grab it. Over here is a... Uh, can you grab it up? Yes. This is the NVIDIA um, D100 Volta GPUs. So uh, that's one of six, four to six GPUs that are in the IBM uh, uh, system. So in the, I believe that the Summit system will have six of these GPUs connected to two Power9 uh, CPUs. And if we move over here, you can see the entire node. Yeah. So that's the IBM Power System AC922, and and you can see that these are the yeah. two power line processors connected to six GPUs each. So you have like one, two, three, four, five, six GPUs. The system is water cooled, um, and um, you know so that and, and there is a NVLink to bus between the OS processor and, and the GPUs, and that's unique to IBM. Yeah. So there, in the car, you cannot see it here, but there is a bus that called NVLink 2 that connects the GPUs to, to the OS processor, the Power9, and NVIDIA provides that only to, to in, 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 this, uh, in this system for the IBM solution. So is this one of the most cutting edge uh, supercomputing systems? Yeah, so this is actually the, the node that you saw over those racks. So each racks are several of these nodes. That's basically it. That's the, the system that the, the Cora will use. Melanox switch. So that's uh, the uh, interconnect provided by Melanox. Oh, just to coordinate the communication across the network for the machine. All right. right. So in this system, you don't just have one node. You're going to have several uh, cabinets, and you're going to, um, you know, need to communicate across those cabinets. So what you need, you need an infinite band connection. That's the switch that provides the connection. So uh, there's a lot of activity in the supercomputing space, and IBM is at the forefront. Of this it's stuff. definitely at the forefront. Out of the uh, three coral contracts. Two of the sites were uh, awarded to IBM, so you know both the Oak Ridge National Lab and the Lawrence Livermore National Lab chose IBM as their uh, provider, together with NVIDIA for you know the next generation of supercomputers. And uh, 